Hi everyone and welcome to my presentation on career planning and development. I was born and raised in a small town in Poland. I come from a family with the organizational approach to career development which occurs within the confines of traditional organizational structures according to Sullivan and Baruch 2009. I was involved in different after-school activities throughout my childhood and adolescence period. I completed a six years long music education at the age of 15 and developed an interest in photography at the age of 16. While at secondary school I set up my own handmade jewellery business, at the age of 19 I completed my A-levels and moved to the UK to continue my education. I gained my first professional experience working as a warehouse operative for four years. While working full-time, I was also attending evening and weekend English language courses. I have also undertaken many personal photography projects. I have taken on few clients' work, including two weddings. I have set up myself a task to photograph on a different topic every day and engaged friends to take part in it. I have also challenged myself to travel solo. My first solo trips to Edinburgh and Oslo have originated the Hair Universe series of self-portraits with a vintage globe taken in the world's most famous spots. As my language skills improved, I decided to try and lead my career development in a different direction. At 23, I moved cities in the hope of getting a more exciting position and starting a higher education course. The relocation, however, turned out to be a bad call as I struggled to find a job and didn't really enjoy the new city. I also found out that I wouldn't have chance to get into university because of the insufficient level of my language qualifications and GCC results. I was advised to undertake an access course that I could not afford at the time. After three months, I was challenged to come up with some contingency plan. I decided to apply for a higher education course anyway and I got accepted for the foundation degree in the events and tourism management at Sheffield City College. I took a risk and applied for a summer camp program in the USA whilst investing the last of the money I had. However, due to my financial circumstances at the time, I had to move back home for two months before I got accepted onto the program where I worked as an arts and crafts counsellor and photographer. While studying the foundation degree, I completed two work placements, one at Premier Inn as a training receptionist and another at Canu Travel as a marketing art worker. In the meantime, two of my photographs were published on the front of book covers. I completed the foundation degree at the age of 25 and applied for a top of year on the International Tourist Management degree course at Sheffield Hallam University, which I am about to complete this year. So who I am today, moving away from home and living abroad definitely has had a significant impact on my personal development. I have developed an ability to adapt to changes as living abroad often means living an unsettled life. Within the past few years, I've been pushed to change living spaces and friendship groups due to unexpected events, but also in order to achieve my personal goals. Paradoxically, changes have become a part of my life routine and I've learned how to enjoy them because every change means a beginning of something new and inspires new ideas and ways of approaching things. I have grown in a cultural awareness and understanding through traveling and living with people of different nationalities. On the surface, I'm a reserved looking quiet individual who rarely sticks with the crowd. That is because I'm an introvert who often struggles with engaging in small talks. However, when something captures my imagination, I can talk for hours. I always dedicate a big chunk of my time, energy and thoughts to projects that excite me. Oftentimes, I find myself forgetting about day-to-day -day maintenance and simple pleasures. I tend to limit social interactions to a minimum and withdraw to a hermit mode when working on certain tasks. I value and seek a harmony when working in a team. I have no interest in having power over others or being the domineering one. However, if there is anything I strongly disagree with, I like my opinion to be heard and taken into consideration. While others focusing on the challenges of the moment might give up when things get tough, 
I benefit from the ability to set myself a far-reaching vision which helps me through. Knowing that what I'm doing is meaningful gives me a sense of purpose and courage when it comes to accomplishing something I believe in. When deciding how to move forward, I am led by my principles and purity of my intent rather than rewards and punishment. I derive satisfaction from creating things that I am actually able to see or touch. I like to be able to monitor the progress, take pride and be recognised for the results, for the final results. I am a very visual person that shows artistic flair and seeks opportunities to express ideas through art. My current interests are photography, especially people and landscapes, sociology including the topics of introversion, solitude, aloneness and solo travel, as well as marketing and branding and sustainable tourism development. As opposed to my family, I have a kaleidoscope approach to a career development. According to Sullivan and Baruch 2009, it is a career that develops and evolves in patterns. And there are three parameters influencing how the career progresses. These are authenticity, balance and challenge. What I don't want from a career is a team heavy and bureaucratic environment. I am not a natural people person. I don't like working in front of house, dealing with the general public or managing people. I do like the idea of working behind the scenes and I definitely want to work within the tourism industry. Therefore, my career choices are location assessment officer, marketing art worker and a holiday photographer. And I choose to be a holiday photographer. I've decided on this career because it reflects on my key interests and allows me to be creative. I want to be paid for something I've got a real passion for. I've been enthusiastic about photography since the early age and ever since I've been looking for ways to combine photography and travel. Although I am an introvert, photography allows me to connect with people without feeling socially awkward. This career offers a healthy balance of social interactions and independent work. I value a life of meaning over a life of material goods. I'm not particularly motivated by money or interested in climbing a career ladder. I like to have a sense that what I'm doing is meaningful and to be able to see a positive impact my work has on other people. Based on my previous work experiences, I feel dissatisfied when working for organisations that have values I don't believe in. What I do want is a career that aligns with my personal values and brings an opportunity to inspire and influence others, ideally through photography. My current career aspirations fit within Cantor's 1994 definition of the entrepreneur who envisions something new and make it work. They do not start businesses but improve existing organisations. Morrison, Remington and Williams, 1999, point out that entrepreneurs are often not motivated by profit, but by the creative buzz of developing new amenities. However, it was further argued that entrepreneurs come in very different combinations of qualities which work for them in a particular context. The characteristics of entrepreneurs proposed by Tiemann's 1994 that are suitable to the context of my career aspirations are a calculated risk taker, non-conventional and open-minded, low needs for status and power, interpers interpersonally supporting and willing to undertake a personal sacrifice. So I am enterprising by wanting to popularise a new product and sharing a different approach to tourist photography and travel, which I believe take part in one's self-construction when combined. I am willing to commit to a temporarily unpaid or similar position within an organisation as long as I am given the opportunity to test out my idea. If I am successful, I could then negotiate to have a part in the social media where my photographs would be published together with inspirational posts. There is a possibility of setting up my own business in the future, however, I'm not currently ready to manage my own business. I don't have a sufficient funding behind me and there's always a chance that the idea won't 
meet the market needs. As opposed to the given alternative routes, I believe I'm fully suitable for the career I've chosen. My set of qualifications shows that I have a broad knowledge about the tourism industry, I have done particularly well in the modules of destination marketing and sustainable tourism planning and development. In addition to that, I have also conducted my dissertation research project on photography and solo travel. I have developed a solid set of academic skills and habits essential to succeed in a career. These include ability to prioritise tasks, manage the time efficiently and work independently within given time frames. While living abroad, I've developed problem solving and crisis management skills and I have proven on many occasions that I'm willing to take a risk and I'm determined to achieve the best that I'm, that I'm capable of. I've gained the ability to look at problems from different angles and find alternative solutions. Living abroad is one of the toughest challenges I've experienced and in which I grew so much self-confidence and self-awareness. I have undertaken many personal photography projects which shows my ability to take initiative and set and achieve goals. Each one of them required an incredible discipline, commitment and ability to work independently. Through photography, I have developed an ability to visualize concepts and communicate ideas. I have also taken work for clients where I have used communication and customer service skills. Alongside photography skills, I have learned to use Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom software for post-production purposes. I'm willing to travel and work different shifts, including weekends and holidays. I enjoy outdoors and I'm in a good fitness condition to work long hours standing or walking within challenging terrains. Because my career aspirations are quite unconventional, there is currently no job offers and perhaps there won't be any unless I create a job for myself. Therefore, I feel like I should have a backup plan and get as much experience as possible within the key field of interest. I will be enterprising by taking initiative and approaching potential employers by sending out a speculative CV introducing my idea. Therefore, my action plan for this year is By the 30th of May, I will apply for a work experience as a campaign photographer and a marketing assistant for sustainability organisation within the tourism industry. This will take place from July to September. By the 30th of June, I will research tour operators specialising in solo travel and responsible travel via LinkedIn. By the 15th of July, I will write a speculative CV introducing potential employers to my idea. On the 16th of July, I will start sending out the speculative CV with an, atta an attached copy of my dissertation and work portfolio. And that was it. Thank you for watching.